Some 45 years after the world's first heart transplant took place in Cape Town, Two Stroke was commissioned to conduct major surgery on the Heart and Stroke Foundation's website. The NGO, which is responsible for promoting healthy living and raising awareness of the risk of heart disease, South Africa's second largest killer after HIV and AIDS, had a static HTML website. Over the years, more and more content had been added, a progressive process which silently and slowly blocked the site's usability, not unlike the effect of atheosclerosis, through which cholesterol buildup gradually narrows the human body's arteries, culminating in cardiac arrest. As a cost-conscious organisation, the Heart and Stroke team wanted to revamp the website, building it on a powerful content management system that would allow them to update news and information themselves. After researching the options, they opted for Drupal, an open source framework that has proven to be particularly popular with NGOs and publishing companies, in part due to its scalability and in part due to its lack of license fees. As one of South Africa's largest Drupal development studios, Two Stroke was appointed to resuscitate the site. The Foundation plays a leading role in the fight against preventable heart disease and stroke, with the aim of seeing fewer South Africans suffer premature deaths and disabilities. As well as lobbying government, it needs to educate the man in the street while persuading business to make food more healthy. It also needs to raise funds, as it receives no government funding at all. Two Stroke was asked to rebuild the site in time for Heart Awareness Month. Launch was scheduled for the 1st of September 2012. Confronted with the challenge of making vast reams of content more accessible, Two Stroke simplified navigation, moving away from the multiple tabs of old into a high-level persona-based navigation, segmenting entry into the site into Little Heart, which catered to the needs of younger visitors, and Big Heart, providing information tailored to older visitors. A second layer of heart-based iconography provided strong visual navigational elements around key sections, including food, health, support, emergency and donations, creating a highly usable environment in which visitors could easily move around the site. To create some interactivity while sensitively addressing the unfortunate and all too often final consequence of heart disease and stroke, we created a wall of remembrance which allows visitors who have lost a loved one to request that a star is loaded to the site, creating a permanent memorial to their relative or friend. With the site having only just launched, there is limited data on which to evaluate success. Visitor feedback has been overwhelmingly positive, with the Heart and Stroke team thrilled that they can now control their domain. A comparison of Google Analytics stats between the 1st and 17th of September 2011 to the same period in 2012 indicates that our resuscitation efforts have worked. In spite of there being no digital activity to promote the site, visitor numbers have almost doubled. Average time on site has grown from three minutes to almost five and a half, Page views grew from 3 to 6 per visit, while the bounce rate has decreased from 51% to 25%. Later in the year, we'll be assisting the Foundation with a campaign to increase donations, delivering a commercial benefit edge to this life-saving initiative.